Colombian arepas, two types with mozzarella and with white or Mexican cheese. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Now we're gonna do both amazing types of arepas. With white Mexican cheese, we can just process it into a fine, fine size. Place it in a container and set them aside. Look at it, it's just completely granular. Now with mozzarella cheese, we can't do that because otherwise we'll just have a blob of mozzarella. So we cut the mozzarella in small dice, add it to the food processor and just process in four or five seconds at a time. You see the difference? The mozzarella pieces are larger. We can't completely blend it unless it's almost frozen. In two containers, I'm adding exactly the same recipe with different kinds of masa corn flour. We have two different ones that I wanted to show, but they're actually the same. Same ingredient, same pre-cooked corn masa flour, same very hot water, butter or ghee, and salt. Here, we mix with a fork until all of that water is absorbed and it is hot because we want it to hydrate the dry masa flour. We cover them for about five minutes and then we can put our hands inside and mix them to create a well in the center of the masa. You might think it's a little dry, but do not worry. If you want to add a little more water or liquid or milk or butter, it's fine. But first, give it time to add the cheese because the cheese has some moisture in it and it's gonna make it softer. Look at this. Once we've mixed the cheese in all of the masa, it's actually created a dough, a perfectly mixed dough. Remove it from the sides of the bowl and you'll see that it ends up not sticking to your hands very much. It's perfect, all of that cheese is everywhere, so every single arepa will have cheese inside. Place it onto your counter and roll the dough so you can cut it into similar sizes. This trick that I do right now is one that I do with my roller cookies, my refrigerator cookies. I roll it to the end to make sure that there is no air bubbles inside of my roll. I can actually wrap it and refrigerate it or leave it outside if it's not hot. Now you make balls, divided the log into four, then into three, and that was it. Now you make balls with each one of those pieces, then just put them on your panini grill or bake them exactly at the moment when you're gonna serve them. People are going to love them. Take each one of these pieces and place it between two pieces of parchment paper or plastic just to flatten them. We flatten them a little bit they're about a little less than half an inch, about a third of an inch, but it actually doesn't matter. We're gonna put them on a panini grill or bake them, and it's just what you like the best, if you want them really thin or not that much. So, how about this? We put them on a panini grill, and three minutes later, look at these beautiful arepas. These are from a recipe from my book, of the food and cooking of Colombia and Venezuela. It's a beautiful book you can get at Amazon or other countries where they still sell it. They are delicious, just right out of the panini grill or the oven. Now with our mozzarella arepas, we're gonna make them a little thicker because we want that mozzarella to come out from the inside and you wanna feel it in every bite. Cook them on both sides on medium heat, never on high heat because 
foods that you cook on high heat burn not only the food but the pan. There's a little lightly or a little more golden parts in each one of these arepas and those are pieces of mozzarella. And they look darker in the video than they really are. They are so, so good, these arepas, with that melted mozzarella cheese inside. You know, there's a trick you can do. You can actually put little bits of other foods in the center of the arepa or more cheese. And then when you cut them in half, you have a surprise inside. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing food. Enjoy, Shepachi.